Hello, welcome. My name is Christine and this is Christine Sews A Lot. Today is my stop on the sewing vlog tour for the hashtag SewFrugal23. This is a challenge being run on Instagram by Sam from Frugalissima and Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl. They are being helped this year by Alyssa from Sloths and Orchids. Alyssa is helping to gather prizes and we should really give them all three of them a big thank you. Most days during the month of March, there will be two sewing vloggers coming on to give you some ideas and inspiration. Yesterday, we heard from Marie Made This. Today, along with me, we have What Beck Sewed. And then tomorrow, we'll hear from Izzy from Dizzy Quilts and Sews and from Becky from Notes from the Sewing Room. Sewing can be an expensive hobby, but it doesn't have to be. And that was the genesis of the Sew Frugal Challenge. This is my third year participating, and I want to tell you a little bit about the rules, the guidelines, and how you can participate. Everything I talk about will be linked down in the description box below, and if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section. So the first is that you are to use fabric from your stash, so don't go out and buy any new fabric. Use a free pattern that is free to anybody to sew a garment for a person in the month of March and then post that said garment to Instagram and use the hashtag SewFrugal23. And you will need to tag at the Yorkshire Sew Girl and at Frugalissima in your post so that they can count and include you in the prize drawing. And there will be a lot of prizes. So if you have any questions, hit up below in the comment section and I'm going to move on. But first, I want to tell you about what I'm wearing. Today, I am wearing the Westcliff dress by the Friday Pattern Company. I sewed this about two years ago in this cotton jersey from Art Gallery. It is the Hazy Daisy Marine print. And I do know this is still available. Though my favorite person to sew for is me, I do sew for the little people in my life a good bit. And I thought today I would focus on nine children's patterns that you will want to sew. I have sewn several of these patterns already. Some are new to me and there are some definite sews on my list. So let's jump into the patterns I've selected. The first two that I've selected are both leggings patterns. So mainly for girls, but boys do like leggings too when they're little. And I have a couple of patterns that you can choose from. One is the petite pegs from Patterns for Pirates. This goes from a size preemie to 12 month. And Pattern for Pirates has several free patterns you may want to check out on their website. The other leggings pattern I want to talk about is the Bonnie leggings from Made for Mermaids. And this goes into a higher size range. I'm going to be linking the patterns, so links to where you can go get the free patterns and information about the sizing in the description box below. I've made both of these and I have definite plans to make the Bonnie leggings for baby girl. I've made her a pair just a couple months ago in a zebra print fabric. I'll start a photo if I can find one of her wearing them. She's been wearing them on constant repeat and wants them as soon as they come out of the wash. So I have this in my stash. It's a Robert Kaufman cotton lycra. I have some tiger and I have some cheetah and I think she would enjoy this as well. She's really into animals right now and I think this would be fun. I have a yard of each left. I've got a new baby niece who's going to be due in April so I may be sewing some up for her as well. I would like to sew all of this up this month and get it out of my stash. So that's probably going to be one of the first things I sew up this month. If you've followed me for any length of time, then you know 
I love the aesthetic of the modern vintage of Violet Field Threads patterns. They have several free patterns and I'm gonna talk about two of them today. The first is the London dress, which is a very sweet sundress with a ruffled hem. And the other is the Lola top. This top is really versatile. I think that it would be great in the summer with a linen weight, but you could use it as a pinafore if you sew it up in a little heavier weight fabric. So, so cute. I love the aesthetic of the modern vintage. Next on my list, and it's got a little bit of the vintage vibe, is again, a couple of baby girl patterns. I am definitely going to be making the petal wrap from Twig and Tail. I will make it in a size 2 for baby girl. I think she's going to need this. And I think it would be really cute in a linen. So I have several linens in my stash. I have some pink, bright and cheerful. I've got this pickle color that I think would just be so cute for spring and summer. So my plan is to just sew the very simple version of the petal wrap. It can be a dress, it can be a tunic, and there are pattern pieces to embellish it with really cute pockets, frills, sleeves, but I think I want the very classic simple version and I want to pair it with a pair of bummies. Brindle & Twig has the most adorable bummy pattern. I have several largest scraps that aren't big enough to make anything for me and how many pocket linings do I need to save fabric for that I think I can get some really cute bummies for baby girl and really coordinate well with some of the solid linen that I have in my stash. I do know I have some of this left over and we could be twinning. Now we don't want to leave the boys out, do we? Brindlin Twig has two hoodie patterns that are free on their website. I have found the Brindlin Twig patterns to come up a little bit large and my littles are not little for their size. They're big for their size. So I'm going to be sewing the scuba hoodie, which is the smaller size range, because I'm going to be sewing a size 5T. But do check out both of the hoodie options. So I picked this out of my stash. This is some really cute French terry fabric with French bulldogs all over it. And I totally blame Adam from Adam Sews for this purchase. Or I should say I credit him. This is a very popular fabric and the kids always love to have something with animals on it. I'm going to use some gray cotton jersey that I have in my stash to line the hood and then I have loads of gray ribbing. and I think that will coordinate really well with this. So that's the Brindle and Twig Scuba Hoodie. And as I said, all of these patterns, I'm gonna have links below so you can go right to it and get your free patterns. The next pattern I wanna talk about is from Polly Woggles, and it's the Fathom 5 Rash Guard. Last year I sewed this for So Frugal, and I made it in a size seven and found it very true to size. I sewed it as a top to a pajama set, and I'll insert a photo here if I can find it. I really did like this pattern, and I thought now that I have a cover stitch machine, it's time to sew up some rash guards. So I have several swim fabrics that have been in my stash for about three years, waiting for me to get that cover stitch machine, and I wanna sew up some rash guards and maybe some swimsuits. But I think the Fathom 5 would look great in this. So I've got this beautiful pink. I got this from Amy Fabrics in Pensacola. It's got a lot of stretch and recovery. So I think this would make a great rash guard. And I think the boys would love one out of this. I think they all would. We'll see how far this fabric 
can go. But it'd be nice to get that sewn up, practice a little bit more with my cover stitch machine, and I know that that's a great pattern. The final pattern I wanna talk about is the Rowan T by Miss Suzu. This is a new to me pattern, I really like the style lines on it. It has a dropped shoulder and it goes from a size zero to 14. And I think that this is gonna be a must sew for me in March. It'd be a great way to use up all those large scraps that I have. I will keep a bin of the larger offcuts that are too small to make something for me, but too big to throw away. Kind of that Goldilocks perfect size for sewing something for the kids. And I'll put them in a bin and I'll be going into that bin and making some t-shirts. I do hope you plan on joining in on the Sew Frugal 23 Challenge. Let me know down below in the comments if you plan on joining in and what you'll be making. I always love to hear about new patterns and especially the free ones. I plan on following along with all of the vloggers this month to get inspiration and ideas on free patterns. You'll be absolutely amazed that you probably already know there are so many really great patterns out there that are free. What a bargain. I do have plans to adapt some of these patterns a little bit. I'm not going to call it hacking, but just do a little bit something extra to make them extra extra. And I'll be sharing that on my channel this month. So I do hope you come back and join me for that. I'm going to insert a playlist here of free sewing patterns. And until next time, I hope you have a joyful week and that you find the good in all things, especially sewing. Bye.